of you flick freaks out there, what is going on? My name is Andrew, and we are here with another film review. So the film that we're going to be reviewing today is Deadpool. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I went and saw this film today at the AMC Theater, and actually, while I was there at the IMAX, they gave us this really cool poster. Check that out. Isn't that awesome? Indeed it is. So... This movie is actually directed by visual effects uh, artist Tim Miller, who's actually worked on some video games like Mass Effect 2, which he did an amazing job at. And this movie is actually written by Rhett Reese, who gave us the Zombieland films. No surprise, this man is amazing at action comedy films, and he definitely shows in this, because this movie was amazing. Literally, as soon as the credits started to when the credits rolled at the end, I could not stop laughing. This movie was hilarious. And it wasn't just crude, vulgar, raunchy humor. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of that. But there was actually a lot of very smart and intellectual humor in this movie as well. And sometimes you were thinking, I don't see where this joke's going. But then as soon as they get to that payoff and that punchline, you realize that the people who wrote this and the people who worked on it, they knew what they were doing. This is just a funny, funny movie. 99% of the credit has to go to Ryan Reynolds and his performance. This man was born to play this character. And not only that, but his love, his passion to play this character, you could definitely tell it leading up to this, all the press and the interviews that he was doing, you could just tell by the look on his face how much he loved this character growing up and how badly he wanted to portray Deadpool and to give the best performance that he could. And I think that he more than delivered on that because it was just, I don't think they're, literally, I can't think of a single person on the planet who could have done a better job playing Deadpool than Ryan Reynolds. And the supporting cast for this as well is amazing. Marina Bakarin is not only gorgeous, but she was great in this. I loved her. But I think the coup de grace for the sidekick characters has to go to T.J. Miller. Whenever him and Ryan Reynolds are riffing back and forth, just bantering, going right back and forth, giving it and taking it, it's comedy gold. I don't think I've laughed that hard in a very long time. These guys are the best at what they do when it comes to comedy, and I think it definitely shows in this right here. Parents, be warned, this is definitely an adult film. Don't let your kids trick you into thinking that this is just another superhero movie. There is tons of violence, language, and nudity in this film. Like, from beginning to end, that's pretty much the entire movie. And that's what the fans wanted. They wanted a true, hard, R-rated Deadpool movie. And that is definitely what they delivered here. It Sometimes it gets to the point where you're like, I kind of get it, you're pushing it just a little too much. But I think they rode that line as close as they could. And they may have, you know skid it off the edge every now and then but for the most part it's just great now i will say this i highly recommend that you go and see this movie as quickly as possible and if you can go and see it in an imax theater or a theater that has a ton of seats in it because the more people you see this with i actually do think the better because the movie experiencing itself for me was phenomenal going in there with just everyone around me being just as big of a fan as I was, nobody judging you, everybody just trying to have the best possible time they could. I think that made the movie going experience just that much more enjoyable. So like I said, go and see this movie as quickly as you can. Now I actually do have some critiques and cons for this movie. Uh, For a Deadpool movie, I think that the action, if you're going to do this movie, step it up a notch with the martial arts and the choreography. It was good, but I think it could have been a lot better. With the action and martial arts that we've seen in a lot of movies recently, it definitely doesn't stack up to that. I actually think that the fight choreography in Captain America Winter Soldier was a lot better than the fight scenes in this. Now, then this one, they're actually leaning more towards, I think, a comedic approach to fighting and stuff like that. But there were times whenever they were actually going for like a serious martial arts fight, and it just didn't feel like what it could have been as far as that. Another one of my critiques is there's actually two side characters in this that I think were very underused, and they're Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead. These two were amazing, and they did not get enough screen time, I think. In the sequel, which they've already confirmed Deadpool 2, if they do come back, I really do hope that they get a lot more screen time. They're only in this for just a couple scenes, very underused, and there was a lot of wasted potential there, I think. 
And for my final critique, just to let you guys know how nitpicky I'm having to get with this movie because it was that good. I think they broke the fourth wall maybe a little too much. Now I totally understand that's Deadpool saying he breaks the fourth wall, talks directly to the audience, very self-referential, he knows he's being played by Ryan Reynolds, all that kind of stuff. I think it's hilarious. I think, though, they may have done it just a little too much, to the point where every single time they did it, I realized, you know what, that was funny, It, it, it every single one of them was funny, but at the same time, they're not giving the movie enough to just push that story forward whenever they're breaking that fourth wall and taking you out of that experience. Yes, it's funny, but at the same time, it cuts into the story. So, again, just a little critique. Again, the movie is hilarious and damn near perfect. So with all those critiques in mind, I highly recommend this. Keep in mind, this is definitely an adult film, so if you are not easily offended by violence, language, nudity, drugs, any of that, you will most likely enjoy this movie. So I will give this movie an 8.8 out of 10. So thank you to everybody for watching. If you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button right there. And if you check up in the top right corner, you're going to see a little card icon. That'll take you over to the Flick Freak store. So if you need a t-shirt, a coffee mug, maybe a phone or tablet case, well, guess what? We get it all over there. And a Patreon campaign where every single dollar put in there gets put directly back into this channel to make it better. Because we're all going to make this channel better together. Got some amazing perks all the way from a nice thank you to you actually being featured in a let's play with us so head over there see if any of the perks tickle your fancy and we will catch you guys in the next video so until then godspeed to 100,000 subscribers great because a former decorated member of the united oh. states marine corps needs your support no. and his name is john <laughs> 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 You? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs>